Coal is the world's primary source of energy and is responsible for 46% of global carbon dioxide emissions. Yet coal mining, transport, and construction of coal plants still continue in developing countries. In that context, Lucy Panson, an environmental activist, asked a simple question. Who is paying for the proliferation of coal plants and infrastructure? The answer hit close to home. There are between 30 and 50 international banks that actually finance the coal industry worldwide. France has some of the largest banks in the world, and nobody here suspected that it was the French banks that were investing in coal energy projects. Lucy found that France's three largest banks were responsible for loans of over $32 billion to the global coal industry over a six-year period. She leveraged her connections with organizations like Friends of the Earth and Greenpeace and mounted a coordinated campaign that helped motivate thousands of activists to take to the streets of Paris to protest. This drew significant media attention to the French banks and to the insurance companies that insure coal projects. That highlighted the depth of their involvement in the coal industry and led to face-to-face -face meetings with key executives in the banking and insurance industries. We need the bank, the investor, and the insurer to be convinced that our requests are well-founded, are legitimate. If there is no debate with these people, there will be no action. The press plays an enormous role. If we have done our job well, the journalists will interview the two parties. They will interview the NGOs, the activists, and will also question the financial players. And then we have our research. So we will win the debate. Lucy followed this formula of using the press, social media, protests, and direct encounters with major French banks and insurance companies that were engaged in financing and insuring coal operations. After months of carefully orchestrated effort, they began stockpiling commitments from these French corporations to stop backing coal projects around the globe. The first time we succeeded was when the three major French banks pulled out of a coal mine project in Australia. That was a very, very long campaign of over a year and a half, and we put a lot into getting that victory. Lucy kept up the pressure, and by 2019 had secured commitments from France's three largest banks and its two largest insurers to eliminate financing for new coal projects and coal companies. You decide that the French banks are going to stop funding coal, and gradually you take the next approach and the extra step. But you're still not at the top, and that's okay. We are thinking of the best strategy to push these major financial institutions into adopting policies to eliminate fossil fuels. Once there isn't a single penny going to the coal industry, then I can battle against gas, oil, or something else. For outstanding environmental achievement for Europe, the 2020 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Lucy Panson, Paris, France. <laughs>